Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana Yancy. How are you today? How are you tonight? I am fine, thank you. Okay. That's good to see you tonight. Yeah. Teacher, y va, eh, ¿cómo vamos a llenar la, la encuesta? Ah, bueno, este, yo les voy a notificar el momento y voy a compartirles las, la pantalla para que puedan ustedes irlo haciendo junto conmigo. Ah, pero nos lo va a mandar al WhatsApp. Eh, ¿Ya les enviaron el link, Danis? Danis. Eh. Déjenme corroborar, Ana Yancy. Ah, porque a mí no me aparece. No le ha caído nada. No, sí nos estaban mandando notificaciones para hacernos el recordatorio. Uh -huh. Sí, me fijé en el grupo. Danis, uh -huh. ¿le ha llegado alguna notificación de encuesta? Danis. Ok, sí, Ana, ya se no se preocupe, ya vamos a, a enviar ahí el link a la hora en que les indique, ok. Good teacher. Ajá, es que es en mi, en mi correo solo aparece unirse a la reunión, eh, siempre de lo mismo, pero menos de, de la encuesta. Ok, no worry. Ya en unos minutos la vamos a estar realizando. Yo les voy a indicar este cuando, cuando se dé. Ok. So, uh, let me see. Let me see here. Y usted nos puede ir verificando porque, o sea, yo ya no laboro en la alcaldía, pero cuando inicié el curso, o sea, de este mes, uh -huh. viene con esa planilla, entonces me imagino que siempre tengo que poner eso. Así como al principio. Eh, sí, tendría que poner para el lugar en el que está laborando. No, lo que pasa es que ya finalicé. Ya finalizó. Ya. Ajá, es que yo era concejal de, de la alcaldía en la, de Tamanique, entonces en, en mayo salimos. Uh -huh. Pero todavía yo podía eh, seguir en el, en el curso este porque como llevan un mes de atraso, entonces todavía me funcionaba hasta el mes de, de junio con julio. Okay. Bueno, en ese caso, eh, creo que la encuesta, déjenme revisar acá, solamente le pide su nombre completo, su correo, número de celular. Ah, sí, también le pregunta en dónde trabaja. Ajá. Sí, tendría que poner ahí donde... Lo pongo, ajá, lo, lo pongo así como cuando lo inicié para que ya hasta ahí termine. Sí, porque creo que le da como dos meses más, ¿verdad? Que le parece supuestamente que está cotizando. Ajá, pero hasta el mes de julio, o sea, ahorita hasta este mes me, ser, me servía la planilla, ya agosto ya no. Agosto ya no, va, ok, no hay problema, entonces tendría que poner ahí eso. Ok, pero vamos a ver esos detallitos en unos momentos, ok. Está bien. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Karina, hello. hello. You didn't come yesterday, Karina. 
Yes, teacher, I was in the office really tired, but oh. almost I finished. Okay, oh. yes, tonight is the last day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tonight is the last day, so don't worry about that. Uh, all right, did you finish all the platform? Yes, yes. miss. Okay, because tonight after the class, I need to send those grade reports, okay? So make okay. sure that you finish that, okay? Um, let's see, I'm going to start by passing the attendance list. As usual, uh, Alfonso. Alfonso, Ana Yancy. Here, teacher. Carmen Lisset. Present. Cesar Heriberto. Present, teacher. Claudia Lorena. No. Danis. Present. Dolores Saraí. No. Eduardo. No. Okay. Edwin Daniel. Yes, okay. Fidel. Eh, Karina. Present teacher. Katia. Present teacher. Mogurdes. Present teacher. Luis Armando. No. Nelson. Okay. Oscar. And Susi. Okay, so we are going to start right now, guys. Okay, so uh, we are going to start right now, guys. Um, let's see. Teacher. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I have a question. Uh, today, uh, in today, in the afternoon, I received a message from WhatsApp from Oscar Rodriguez of In Support. Mm -hmm. um, he told me that I, I don't have the full finish the platform. I had the same. And mm -hmm. I don't know why he's telling me that. Well, actually, you have done the platform, Oscar, too. Yes. yes. The message say uh, that you I, haven't finished. Yes, I can make any exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check because tonight after the class, I'm going to check that and I'm going to let you know, okay? Uh, just be pending on the phone after the class and I will text you guys in WhatsApp group for you to have an idea uh, whether if you have everything completed or not because there are some other students that haven't completed some exercises but Carmen, Eduardo and Oscar, you were the three first students who finished the platform on time. After you guys, uh, we had Cesar and let's see, Nelson. Uh -huh. Okay, and an Alianza too. Yes, tell me. Eh, eh, yo en español se lo voy a decir, pero sí, igual a mí me pasó lo, exactamente lo mismo. Igual yo le mandé a él los comprobantes. Este, mm -hmm. No sé qué pasó, la verdad, pero sí. Sí, yo incluso le mandé la imagen donde usted nos había dicho que habíamos finalizado y le mandé igual la captura de las, las notas que aparecen en el progreso de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pero, pero sí, no sé qué pasó ahí. Sí, a mí igual también me, me, me cayó el mensaje y uh -huh. sí terminé los ejercicios la semana pasada. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. antes sí, que... Hecho, eh, sí. ya, ya, ya algunos cuadros de notas ya estaban completos, pero si ustedes ya tienen completo todo, eh, no se preocupen. Ahora en la noche, como les repito, al finalizar la clase, yo entrego notas y pues si las tienen completas, pues van a aparecer las casillas completas. Pero si alguien se ha quedado en, digamos, en la tarea 4 y está vacía, pues ahí sí va a haber problemas. Okay. Yo creo Pero, que era general el, 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 el mensaje porque yo les contesté y me dijeron que no había problema. Uh -huh. Era general, o sea, era uh -huh. general, como un recordatorio. Correcto. Pero si ustedes ya tienen completos los ejercicios, no, no, no hay problema. ¿verdad? Pero en caso de que sí les haga falta algo, eh, sí les vamos a, a volver a estar llamando ahí para ver eh, si pueden ayudarnos a completar la, la plataforma porque... 
eh, como se les dijo desde un principio, es importante cumplir con los ejercicios de la plataforma como comprobante que se está eh, comprendiendo lo que en las clases se ve. Ok, so don't worry, if you have everything, everything done, it's not going to be a problem. All right, so we have a review of unit number four and practice. All right, tonight is for reviewing and practice what we check during the week. All right, and this is the last class, guys. This is the last night. After this, you go on vacation, you rest, you sleep well, you have fun, you do whatever you want to do during this week. And after that week, I guess that you come back, okay? So uh, right now we are going to check your previous knowledge about the, the last class, yesterday's night class. Uh, let's see, I'm going to choose Oscar. Can you please uh, read the exercise number one and complete it in your own words? Okay. Something we practiced last class was, this is a new expression I memorized. It's interesting to know that something I will like play in my company is what I really like it from last classes. Okay, thank you, Oscar. No, now I want you to tell me, uh, teacher, something we practiced the last class uh, was, uh, for example, the if and when closes, for example. Okay, you give me the, 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 the compliment. For number one only, please. Okay, something we practiced last class was uh, about when and if. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Lower this, number two. This is. This is a new expression I memorized. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I memorized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, show up. Uh, Show up late is uh, like uh, arrive late, arrive late. Okay, show up late. Thank you, Lord. It's interesting. Um, let's see, Carmen, can you please complete number three? It's interesting to know that. Okay, for me, the different use of if and when clauses and the structure when when they can be in the beginning of the sentences and when in the middle of the sentences and use the uh, logical uh, sense using. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's see, Danis, the next one, something. Danis? Okay, he's not, Susie, help me please with the next one. Um, what I really like is from last class. No, something. Uh, something I will play in my company is the, um, the same, the same permission. Okay, the permissions form. Permission forms, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And let's see, Edwin, can you help me with the last one, please? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, what I really like from last class is... Uh, with me is... Uh, how to use tool. Mm -hmm. And maybe permission, okay. permission class. The permissions class. All right, yeah. yes, we were talking about permissions, right? We complete an exercise in which you were supposed to uh, follow some procedures in order to ask for a permission. And you also were filling in a form 
with the information of somebody in the company who wanted to ask for permission, right? Tonight, as I mentioned, we have a practice, a practice review of the whole week. And the first activity that we are going to, to do is this one. We are going to read this article about policy and procedures, all right? Uh, first, the first thing that you need to do is this. We are going to get in groups, but before you go, I'm going to read the reading, the reading article for you, uh, for you to check the pronunciation, all right? And after that, when you are in the breakup rooms, you, you read it again aloud in, in groups, so you can practice again this reading, right? When you finish this, you are going to answer these five questions. The instruction is right here. Read the following article about policy and procedure and write policy or procedure in the blanks. That is here, All right? You are going to classify which is which. And well, I'm going to start reading this article for you. Just pay attention and try to try to um, check the pronunciation for some words. All right, I start. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's visions and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reading with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I'd like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from, work, from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. All right, so in groups, you are going to read this again aloud. For example, my group is Karina, Carmen, and Anayansi. So I say, Karina, read the first paragraph. And then Karina starts, what is a policy? And she begins reading again. Then Carmen reads number two. She starts reading it again for everybody in the group. Then Anayansi, please read uh, what is a policy? Paragraph number one, she read it. And at the end, the teacher reads the last paragraph. All right, is that clear? Yes? Vamos a leer nuevamente esto, Anayansi, en grupos, eh, en voz alta. Todos en el grupo tienen que participar al momento de leerlo. Cuando terminen, van a contestar estas cinco preguntas. En el espacio que tienen acá asignado, van a poner si es una policy o si es un procedure. ¿Ok? Ok. So, this is the first activity. I don't know if you have any question before we continue. No questions? En el, en el párrafo que leyó, teacher, um, en el segundo, en la segunda es párrafo, uh -huh. para la penúltima línea dice Highlander o Highlander, no sé. 
highlighted. Highlighted. Estamos hablando de esta palabrita. Highlighted. Sí. Highlighted. Aquí estamos, esto en español eh, significa como, eh, sería como destacada. Destacada. Pero acá estamos hablando, you can think of a procedure. Ok, estamos hablando de un procedure que es destacado, que es sobresaliente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. The details. Uh -huh. The details. Los detalles sobresalientes, destacados. Ok. Another question. Do you know what is the meaning of this phrase out there? Wandering off. This is a phrasal verb. Yes. Wandering off. Deambulando. Deambulando, okay? Wandering off. That means lost in another words. All right. So um, we are going to work right now in the groups. All right. Let me make the group. ¿O lo leemos cada uno? ¿Cómo lo tienen? Yeah, uh, it's now my computer. Uh, I have... Okay. Yeah. okay, I am project, if you want. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yo lo ubico en la página. Ok, this here. Ok, I am project now. Okay. You see? Yes. Yes. Escucha. Okay. Yes, tell me. No, miss. Relax. Nelson no. and me. You only. You two only. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to send you somebody else. You are in no. room, room four. Estaba Cesar, pero let's, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Room four. Okay. Yeah. Ahí viene ya otro compañero. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Eduardo. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Start the project. Vaya, se fue. Se no fue Nelson, no. Se fue Nelson. What are we doing right now? Okay. Está bien, Nelson. Okay. Um, <clears throat> first part or the second? <laughs> Snoof, snoof. Sorry, sorry. Got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the, the first paragraph. Plan of action and required to carry out or implement a policy. I will written, written, 
procedures will also help eliminate common misunderstanding by ident identifying job responsibilities and stability, stability vulnerabilities for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advice and prevent the organization and the employees for making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedures as a road, a road map where the three details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Okay. Um, read again. Now you, you start, Lord. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policy identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makes on how to handle issues as they arise. This, this is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of, al of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major fit fissures and easily identified. Now it's my turn, right? Okay. Yes. What, what is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out, carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also get, help eliminate common misunderstanding by identifying jobs, responsibilities, and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedure actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. So, what about the questions? We are going to complete filling in the blanks. No, yes, we we will starting with the with the question right now. Okay. Uh, we, we we read two times. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You read the second, Claudia. Yes. Okay. The, ya saben que me cuesta, pero ahí voy. No What is it? He produce. <laughs> This ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader white a clear and easily understand plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A uh, well write procedure producer will also help eliminate common 
misunderstanding. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Be in the, identify, identify job responsibility and establish boundaries for, boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit manager to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees for making costly mistake. You can you can think of a producer as a road map where the pre, the trip the tie are Hilderstein highlighted High, highlighted in order to prevent a person from hating loss a uh, warning of an acceptable path identified by the company manager team. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to um, mention something, Claudia. Here it's procedure. Procedure. La pronunciación procedure. es procedure. Procedure. Okay, procedure. Eh, uh -huh. También acá donde dice identifying. No es identifying, sino que I identifying. Identify. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. I read the first. And next, Edwin, read the second. Sí, la verdad que todos teníamos que leerlo. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Okay. 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 Yes. I am referred. A policy is a predeterminated course of action, which is established to provide a guide to work accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision mm -hmm. and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a global where national boundaries, oceans, mountain, mountain rangers, and other major futures are easily identified. Okay. It's features. 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 Okay. Easily. Okay. Can you repeat so, futures? Wait a minute. A oh, 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 second. Is in future. Yeah, yeah. No features. Problem. Features. 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 Mm -hmm. Features. Features. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, Edwin. Can you go? Okay. What is a uh, procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure. Of every procedure is to provide the reader which a clear and easy understand pay affection required to carry out or complement a policy. A world writer procedure will also help eliminate eliminate common misunderstanding by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permitted managers to the control events in advance and even the organizations and employees from making costly mistakes. Mistakes. You can think of a producer as road map where the trip, the tapes are highlighted, highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable but identified by the company's management team. Muy bien. 
Ok. Hoy vamos a la otra pregunta. Sí. Vamos a la... Básicamente las que son, son estas, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. It's a connection between, o sea, ahí lo que quiere que identifiquemos es si son policy o si son este procedi, ¿qué? Procedure. Si son, si son, si son, si son políticas o procedimientos. Procedures. O procedimientos. Uh -huh. O teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, here? procedures or... Welcome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Procedures <laughs> or uh, policies. Policy. Vamos a, a, por ejemplo... Number one, it's a connection between a company's vision. Is it a policy or a procedure? And for me, it's a policy. A policy. policy. Okay, and for you and I, and see policy or procedure? Para mí, es procedure. Procedure, okay, so let's discuss. Why is procedure and why is, uh, what's policy? Mm -hmm. Why did you select procedure? ¿Por qué dijimos que es procedure y por qué decimos que es policy? Para mí porque habla de, de, de lineamientos, de escribir, de identificar, de hacer procesos, de actualizar. Eh, siempre estamos hablando de la primera, Ana Yancy, de la number one. Ah, como usted dice que, que ¿por qué creo yo que es un procedimiento? Ajá, la primera. Para mí en las dos. Ok. Now, Luis, why is a procedure? I mean, I mean a policy. ¿Por qué piensa que es un policy? Luis? Eh, eh, pienso que I think it eh, decayed the course of, of action. Uh -huh. Action eh, is a guide. Eh, and, the, and, the, and the article speak about this and say this, uh, the policy is a, a predetermined course of action. Okay. The, I think if, uh, number one is, is, an, is, a, is a connection. It's a connection. Yes, a because connection. remember that procedures are the steps that you need to follow. For example, step number one, say hello. Step number two, uh, introduce yourself. Step number three, sit down. Step number four, take notes. That is a procedure, right? And the policy is the opposite. You provide a guide toward accepted strategies and objectives. And the mission and the vision has to do with that. So yes, the first one is a policy. We can say a policy. We are going to give the answers later, but yes, you are right. Ajá, de eso se trata, que discutamos, ¿verdad? Okay, and Nancy, why do you think it's a procedure? Okay, ella explicó. Eh, luego le pregunta a Luis, Dolores, dan sus opiniones y al final se llega a un consenso para ver cuál es la mejor respuesta según lo que acabamos de leer. De leer. Okay. And number one is okay. a policy. Yes. Ok. Ok, number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. Ladies. Ladies. Ahorita. It permits, the number one is a policy. Yes. If number okay. two, it permits Perdí managers to control events in advance. Dice it's. Cesar, are you there? You are alone. Está solito, Cesar. 
No, es que me acaba de sacar, estaba con un carganero, pero me está dando problemas. Ah. Esta, esta cosa siempre me da pena. De hecho, mira mi compu, ¿cómo está? Ahí cargando. Sí, ya la, ya la veo. Vamos, voy a enviarle a Oscar. Pero Entonces, es que, es que miraba, miraba la notificación que Oscar estaba solo. Sí, y que de hecho al inicio empecé con... ¿Con quién fue? Con, con Nelson y con... Y con, con Dani. Pero luego no pude entrar. Eh, me sacó el sistema y cuando volví a entrar eh, ya estaba con Oscar. Entonces, con él practiqué. Sí. De hecho, ya contestamos las, las preguntas. Ya, ya finalizé. Hello. Hello, Oscar. I'm sorry. I thought that you were alone. Según lo que no. me aparecía aquí en el cuadrito, estaba solo. No, Decía que, que César no había entrado al, al, al grupo no. y por eso lo mandé para otro lado. Pero ya veo no. que está acá. Okay. Sí, aquí estábamos con Explica César. Explica él que tiene unos inconvenientes con, con ahí con la tecnología, pero si estamos trabajando acá estamos. Sí. Okay. No, y, y, y creo que ya habíamos... No, ya, ya habíamos completado el ejercicio. El de llenar los espacios. Sí, sí. Ok. Sí, ya, ya los habíamos llenado. Sí. Ok. Bueno, entonces, ¿y ya leyeron el, 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 el Aricol? Sí, 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 sí. Y en, y en ambos, sí, contestamos las respuestas del 1 al 5. O sea que, bueno, es que aquí en su grupo me parece que hay, quiero ver, cuatro estudiantes. Alfonso, sí. Katia Margarita, César y Oscar. Ah, Pero lo, los otros no. dos no, no ingresaron, ¿verdad? No, aquí estoy. Uh -huh. Aquí está. Ok. Bueno. Bien, en unos minutos vamos a Dani, tomar Dani la... está solo. Sí, Dani estoy viendo. Sí, no, Dani. Dani, Dani está con Eduardo y con Nelson. Ah, yo con él fue a caer. Ajá. Entonces está solo con Nelson. Ajá. ajá. <risa> está solo con Nelson. Dice. Cuánta maldad. Sí. Ok. Ok. <risa> ok. We are going to close the... The breakup rooms. Bueno, y ahora se nos fue César. Sí, se desconectó. Tiene conectado otro dispositivo, creo que es la computadora. Uh -huh. okay. Ahí está. Ok. So we are about to start in three minutes. Ya vamos a empezar en unos tres minutitos. Ok, muy bien. Uh, let me ask you one question. Oscar, did you receive the notification for the poll? Is a for poll? In the email? The and email? Correo? Mm -hmm. mm, which email? Only... Ah, the form. Uh-huh. No, in, in my, my, in WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, they send in WhatsApp. Okay. Me comentaba una, bueno, un par de compañeros que no han recibido la, la, la encuesta ni nada, pero es que si uno la tiene, la tiene que tener todo el mundo, ¿no? Sí, okay. la mandó... Como el miércoles parece que se la mandaron. Oscar Rodríguez. Sí. Ok. Sí. Aquí está, sí. Aquí en el teléfono está. Ok. So, we are about to start. Ya vamos a iniciar en unos minutitos a compartir las las respuestas, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. Ok, Thank you. pero estoy afuera en el laptop, de hecho. Hi, Miss. Hello, you finish. Yeah. Ok. So, we are about to start in a couple of minutes. I'm just checking the groups. So, if you finish, we can start right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, we are about to start. Let's see your other classmates. Ok, 
Okay, so um, I'm going to ask for two different participations that can help me reading the two paragraphs. Let's see. Give me a second. It's right here. Yes, Edwin, tell me. Yes, tell me. Sorry, teacher. Uh huh. No, no, no. I ah, it's nothing. Okay. No, nothing. Okay. I thought that you wanted to participate. He's emotional. <laughs> Susie, thank you. You help me with the first okay. paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> a policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their today operations. Policy identifies the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues at the arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide the decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a global world national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features, features are easily identified. Thank you. So we are going to stop here just for a couple of minutes. Nos vamos a detener un momento por acá. Eh, veamos, vamos a hacer lo que es la encuesta. Díganme, ¿todos recibieron el correo Noticias. con la notificación? Yes. No. Yo no tengo el vínculo. De la ok, eh, les pido que por favor busquen la en la parte del... del donde caen los correos no deseados, ahí puede que les haya caído la notificación con el link. Ok. Y si no, pues eh, voy a reenviar ahorita al grupo. Ok. En el grupo les he mandado eh, información. Sí. Y envío el link para los que no han recibido o no... Eh, Hay que revisar bien el correo, porque yo creería que está en el correo en los, en los que no son deseados. En otras palabras, spam. ¿Okay? Me avisan cuando ya encuentren el link. Eh, ahorita, teacher. ¿Okay? ¿Ya, ¿Ya lo tienen abierto? Abierto. Yes. No. Ok. ¿Les aparece algo...? Similar a esto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, vamos a ir paso a paso para que nadie se me vaya a quedar. Entonces, esto es la encuesta de satisfacción con relación al curso de inglés. Como les he venido comentando desde que inició esta semana... Hoy terminábamos las clases, de hecho hoy las terminamos, y es necesario que si yo tengo 17 participantes activos, voy a necesitar que al momento de finalizar esta encuesta, ustedes le tomen un screenshot al, el, al envío de esta encuesta. Creo que les aparece la palabra gracias, gracias por enviar la encuesta. Le sacan una captura de pantalla y la envían al grupo. Por ejemplo, me le pone Lourdes. Eh, teacher, this is my screenshot. Este es mi screenshot y el nombre completo. Lourdes, Beatriz, eh, de Iraeta, ¿verdad? O Iraeta. No, Iraeta de Miranda. Ah, Iraeta de Miranda, ¿ok? Entonces, nombre completo y el screenshot. Bien. Eh, veamos, acá simplemente se les está solicitando su apoyo para completar la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, la información proporcionada será utilizada por el INSAFOR para fines internos, ¿ok? Creo que bastantes de ustedes que ahora se encuentran acá ya han estado en cursos anteriores donde se ha desarrollado esto mismo. Así es que creería yo que no es eh, tan nuevo. 
Ahora bien, en el número 1 necesitamos ingresar el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y fleca, como lo tienen en el correo, ¿verdad? Les recomiendo que solo le den copy-paste para que no se les vaya a ir un espacio y para que no les vaya a dar error al momento de enviar. Me avisan cuando, cuando ya lo tengan. Ya, te ¿Ya, le, ¿Ya le dieron copy-paste? Yo lo, yo lo escribí así, teacher, como no me lo mando. Corroborando, ¿verdad? Corroborando. El orden de, la, la orden de inicio sería el 2, 6, 6, 8, 7, guión, 5, 9, 3, 0, guión, 0, 1, 5, 6, pleta, 20, 21. Sí. Perdón, okay. teacher, perdón, teacher, Ajá, yo no, no he encontrado el correo, no me ha caído. No le ha caído. Bueno, no entonces... Tengo. Se regáleme, por favor, otra vez. Está en el grupo de, de WhatsApp, Luis, la información, si tiene su, su teléfono a la mano, ahí sí, está sí. El, el link de la encuesta. No, ya la encuesta ya la abrí. Ah, ya la tiene ahí. Sí, ya la Muy tengo. Bien. El número. Lo que, lo que no vale, tengo es el, el número. número. Ok, repito, 2, 6, 6, 8... 7 guión 5 9 3 0 este si gusta le puedo mandar lo que me enviaron a mí proveedor y todo para que solo lo ah. copien y lo peguen perfecto ok, okay. Lo acabo de ¿Te puede mandar al grupo acá en el, en el zoom tal vez ah, okay. mm -hmm. ahorita, sí porque ahorita. yo se los envié pero al whatsapp uh -huh. Okay. Ahorita, ya se los envío acá. Va, entonces ahí el compañero va a enviar el, el, el código, ¿verdad? Para la primera. ¿Los demás ya completamos este primer, eh, primer paso? Sí. Muy bien. Ahora, ya en el sí. punto 2, en el punto 2 necesito que por favor escriban su nombre completo. Nombre completo. Dos nombres, dos apellidos. Si tienen apellido de soltera, de soltera, ¿verdad? Si es de casado, de casado. Aquí no nos podemos quitar el casado. <risa> ¿Ok? Veamos. Cuando completen eh, el apartado del nombre, ingresan su correo electrónico. Asegúrense de escribir un correo que, que sea frecuente su uso, ¿verdad? Uno que sus, ustedes se recuerden la contraseña y que lo, lo estén chequeando ahí constantemente. I'm sorry, teacher. Creo que tendría que ser con el que hemos estado entrando a todas las sesiones. Mm. Porque es el que está registrado. Ok, pueden usar ese. Uh -huh. Pueden usar ese. Ahí les llegaría cualquier tipo de notificación, ¿verdad? Posteriormente, vamos a escribir el teléfono celular. Luis, ¿ya vamos por el punto 2? Sí, sí. Ok, ok. ¿Por dónde va Luis? Yo ya voy por el punto 10. ¿Por el punto 10? <risa> <risa> ok, ok. No, no, no. no, no Relax. Este, sí. Voy despacio. Ok, sí. Bien, ¿ya escribimos el número celular? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ahora eh, identificamos el sexo, si es eh, femenino o masculino. Muy bien. Eh, luego el departamento de residencia. ¿Dónde ustedes se encuentran actualmente viviendo? Si es San Salvador, Santa Ana, Chalate, ¿ok? Departamento. Luego escribimos el municipio. El municipio de residencia. No la dirección, solo el municipio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Luego escribiremos la empresa donde están laborando actualmente. La empresa donde están laborando actualmente. Teacher. Ajá. Uh, uh, I need to I need to help you and name the work. Ajá. ¿Qué pasa? What is uh, in, my, in my case? Ajá. ¿Cómo se llama su empresa? Intermodal Safe Control and is no no sé si va con SADCB o solo eh, solo Intermodal Safe Control. Ok. Como hay que ponerlo exacto, me dijeron. Sí, hay que ponerlo exacto. Ya le voy a, a, a confirmar. Eh, ok, están viendo mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Ah, ya, ya le confirmo en unos minutos. Solo voy a dejar que los demás... Eh, bueno, continuemos acá. Dejemos ese punto, Luis. Eh, Edwin, ya le voy a confirmar. Sí. Eh, veamos eh, el punto 9, el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó, que sería, aquí lo vamos a buscar, se llama inglés corporativo, acá está, miren, inglés corporativo Regal International, ok, lo seleccionan, inglés corporativo Regal International. Okay. Luego, en el nombre del curso, escribiríamos inglés principiante, inglés principiante, módulo 5. Okay. Inglés principiante, módulo 5. Ese sería el nombre del curso. Inglés principiante, módulo 5. Veamos. Estamos todos en la misma pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. sí? Vamos bien. Bye. Eh, acá les comento que la encuesta solo se puede tomar una vez. Así es que eh, es necesario que vayamos sintonizados todos al mismo ritmo porque, eh, para que no tengamos problemas. Muy bien, en el punto 11, valore los siguientes aspectos re, re, relativos al curso. Los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Muy bien, tenemos un, una categoría por acá, eh, un rango de insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente, ¿ok? En primer lugar, se les pregunta, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Es decir, ¿les parece que es aceptable el tiempo de dos horas diarias, de lunes a viernes? ¿Será este lo ideal? ¿Cómo lo consideran? ¿Insuficiente porque necesitan más? Eh, ¿Deficiente también porque necesitan más? Este, ¿Aceptable? ¿Les parece bien? ¿Bueno? O oh, excelente, porque está bien, ¿verdad? Ahí ustedes seleccionan una de esas opciones. Luego, en el segundo, les pregunta, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Es decir, ¿sienten ustedes que el desarrollo de la clase va conforme a... Eh, por ejemplo, vamos despacio, vamos rápido... Se sienten como eh, conformes con lo que se les está dando. Sienten que han practicado bastante. ¿Okay? Acá ustedes marcan nuevamente ya sea insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Y en la última... ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? ¿Okay? ¿Qué opinamos acá de, de, de las herramientas, verdad? Como por ejemplo el Zoom, eh, la plataforma que se estuvo utilizando para ver eh, las tareas, los exámenes, el seguimiento que se les ha dado. ¿Qué opinan de eso? Si fueron insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. 
¿ok? Continuamos en el punto 12. ¿En qué fecha inició el curso? ¿En qué fecha iniciamos? 5 de julio, ¿verdad? Pero acá le pide que primero va a escribir el mes. Sería el mes 7, ¿verdad? Escriben el 7. Luego el día. El día que sería el 7. No lleva el 0. Sí, tiene que llevar el 0. 0, 7, 0, 7 y el año. 2021, ajá. Este, ahí solo tiene que escoger el 5 y ya le va a dar la fecha. También. Solo el 5. Sí, ya tira ahí la ya... fecha, miren. Ya tira la fecha. Acá, ¿verdad? 7 del... Eh... ¿Sí? Exacto, así es. 5 uh -huh, de julio, es cierto. 5 de julio. 7. Ajá. Y el 2021. Muy bien. Muy bien. Estamos en la jugada. Edwin. Thank you. <risa> yes. Ok. Luego, ¿qué fecha finalizó el curso? Finalizamos hoy. Nos venimos para acá y lo mismo, ¿verdad? Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. Yo estoy haciendo la encuesta en mi teléfono, pero la fecha no me sale en ese formato. Eh, uh -huh. Igual, el mismo procedimiento, seleccionar solo el día, pero a usted le sale 7 del 05 y a mí me sale 5 del 07, no sé. Igual. Se sale al revés. El, el, el problema es que este está en inglés. O sea, ah. y acuérdense que la, la fecha en el inglés mm. cambia, ¿verdad? Primero va el mes, que sería el 7. Ah, año. o sea, ok. El día el, fue 5. Es su computadora. Uh -huh. Ok. 5. Okay. Sí. <risa> Se me salió bilingüe la máquina, fíjense. Okay. <risa> <risa> y luego, este, el año, 2021. Vaya. Venimos acá en, el, en la fecha fin, ya la pusieron, ¿verdad? 7, mes 7, julio. 30, viernes 30 de julio, 2021. ¿Estamos bien ahí? 07, pleca 30, pleca 2021. Ok, Anayan, si ¿sí le sale en inglés el, el formato no. ahí? No, no, por suerte no, teacher. Ok, vaya. Eh, ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Acá no quiere decir si ustedes se sienten satisfechos consigo mismo, eh, si dieron lo mejor de ustedes. No. Acá nos estamos refiriendo a este, el apoyo y el seguimiento que se les ha dado tanto como la parte administrativa, ¿verdad? Como de mi parte, ¿verdad? Eh, de las herramientas que hemos utilizado, el desarrollo y todo, ¿verdad? ¿Se encuentran ustedes satisfechos o insatisfechos? Ahí seleccionan una opción. ¿Ok? Luego, mencione que otros cursos son de su interés. ¿Qué otros cursos son de su interés? Si le gustaría estudiar Excel, tablas dinámicas... De, no sé, tal vez Word, eh, Windows, algo que le gustaría estudiar, Business Administration, algo relacionado con la administración, ¿verdad? Algo, un curso que sea impartido por el INSAFOR, ¿ok? Y pues posteriormente tenemos los comentarios. Si ustedes quieren eh, expresarse ahí, algo que les haya parecido, algo que no les haya parecido, pues este es su momento para digitar ahí su respuesta. Teacher, a usted le vamos a mandar la... La captura en el grupo de WhatsApp. Lo mandan en el grupo de WhatsApp, en el que tenemos, ahí en el grupo. Ok. Y manda la captura y pone su nombre completo. Eh, bueno, ya cuando terminan los comentarios, le dan acá en Submit, Enviar, y les va a aparecer una pantalla que dice Gracias, ¿verdad? Creo que los que ya la completaron, les, les apareció Gracias, o les apareció Thank you. Sí. <risa> okay. después, después de enviarla, le pongo mi nombre. Eh, envíenlo, y ahí le va a aparecer la, la, la notificación que sus respuestas fueron registradas con éxito, ¿verdad? ¿Ya les aparecieron? 
Ay, teacher, a mí me parece enviar otra respuesta, no sé. Véamela ahí. ¿La envié al grupo? Sí. Ok, ahorita reviso, ¿no? ¿Ya sí? Ok, permítame. Ah, no, pero así les aparece a los demás también. Eh, sí, eso estoy viendo. Uh -huh. Vaya, eh, veamos. Gracias. Sí, ahí dicen ya gracias. A Oscar ya le apareció gracias. A Susi le apareció gracias. Katia. Eh, Alfonso ya le envió. Muy bien. Tengo que tener 17, 17 capturas de pantalla, ¿verdad? Con ese gracias. La mía es la primera, pero no le pude poner el nombre. Eh, la primera, veamos. Sí. Antes de Claudia. Antes de Claudia. Katia, sí. Alfonso, Nelson, Danis, Dolores, Carmen, Karina, Luis, eh, Claudia, Lorena. Edwin logró entonces agregar el, el dato de la empresa. Sí, sí, eh, eh, que mandé este Alfonso. Ah, ok. Vaya. Ahorita le envío el mío. Ok. Anayansi. Ah, ya lo vi. Acá está Anayansi. Sí. Aquí le voy a mencionar. Anayansi. Anayansi. Muy bien. Ahí estamos. Entonces, vaya. Eh, ya todos enviamos la encuesta, ¿verdad? Bien. Eso sería entonces... Todo. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta o algún comentario con respecto a eso, chicos. ¿No? Ya lo habían hecho antes, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Muy bien. Pero como ahora es más así, como más estricto, pues. Sí. Okay. Es porque no, se pone así como un poco. Sí. Eh, pero bueno, lo importante es que hemos llegado hasta este punto. ¿verdad? hasta este punto de la noche donde vamos a continuar practicando <risa> ok déjenme ver ya les comparto la pantalla para la siguiente actividad ok, si no hay comentarios pues continuamos en lo que estábamos Teacher, ya se nos acabó el recreo <risa> ok vaya, vamos acá what is a procedure Bien, me ayudó en el primero, Susi, ¿verdad? Bueno, en este, en este, what is the procedure? Oscar, can you please help me? Ok. Um, procedures. Uh -huh. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan or action requires to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstanding by identifying job re responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making complete mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the things stay highlighted in order to a person for, from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Okay, thank you. So remember, the word uh, it's written identify, but the pronunciation is identify. 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 Okay. Identify. Thank you, guys. Now we are going to complete this exercise. Number one, what do you have for this? Lower this from one to three. 
Number one, it's a connection between a company vision policy. Mm -hmm. Number two, it permits manager to control events in advance or in advance and procedure. Okay. And it can be compared to a trip map policy. Policy. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Edwin, what do you have for this from one to three? Okay, uh, first is policy, mm -hmm. second uh, procedure, and third is procedure. Procedure, okay. Yeah. Okay, we have a situation here. Tenemos ya una situación por acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. It's a connection between a company's vision, it's a policy. Policy. Right? And number two, it permits managers to control events in advance. Okay, that is a? Procedures. Procedure, yes. Steps, remember, steps. In number three, it can be compared to a trip map. Puede ser comparado con un mapa de un viaje. What do you think? Procedure? Procedure. Procedure. Yes. Procedure. Primero, sí. vaya a la izquierda. Segundo, vaya a la derecha. Do you remember that class? Okay. So, number four, please. Eh, Luis, number four and number five. Okay. It can be compared to cloud where you find many things. Eh, for me, it's a policy. Okay. And number five. When people write this well, there are not misunderstanding. It's a procedure. Procedure and procedure. No, no, no. Policy four. and procedure. No, okay. Number four, policy and number five, procedure. Mm -hmm. For policy and procedure. Carmen, do you agree? Policy and procedure. Four, policy, five, procedure. Carmen? Hello, teacher. Uh, number four is a is a is a policy, and number five is a procedure. Perfect. Thank you. So right now, this is what we have to do. You will you will have like um, a couple of minutes to prepare this activity. In the same groups, we are going to have um, this activity. The purpose of this activity is to remember, to recall the content seen in unit number four. What is unit number four? Uh, the topics were should, shouldn't, could, if, when, and the vocabulary practice, right? So we are going to get in groups and the teacher will tell you what topic is yours, all right? And then you have to select a member from the group who will explain a little bit about the topic assigned, okay? And then you, you have to get ready to complete the exercises that I have here. Look, you have this in the, in the book. You have this in the book, okay? But if you want to have a screenshot, you can have it. Yes? All right, these exercises are about to fill in the spaces in blank using should, shouldn't, you know. And um, let's see. The first one using could or could. Could I or could you? After this exercise, you have this, number three. Joining, joining, joining the closest using if or when with the correct punctuation, remember the commas, commas eh, in the middle, all right? So I don't know if you have any question about what is the work that we have to do right now? No? Can no questions? Repeat, can you repeat the chat, please? Yes, okay. Number one, group work. What is the purpose of this activity? Uh, to recall the content seen in unit number four. We are going to remember this, the topics. Uh, step one, we get in groups. Number two, we talk and discuss about the topics. The topics are should, shouldn't, could, 
if, when, a vocabulary practice. But the teacher will give you the topic. So wait for me to go to the breakup room. In number three, you select one member from your group and he or she will explain a little bit about the topic. And when you finish that, Luis, you complete the exercises that, have, that you have in the book. These are the last exercises. All right, page 40, 47, 48, 49, if I am not mistaken. And well, this is it. I don't know any other question. Alguna otra preguntita? Teacher, ¿quién se va a sacar la pizza esta noche? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, are you ready? We are going to yes, work teacher. right now. Yes, we se la va a sacar. Okay, yes, very good. Una hawaiana para todos, please. <laughs> Okay, déjenme ver, vamos a agregar. All right. Go ahead. Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you working? Yes. Me quedo el grupo de la superestrella, ¿verdad? Of course, teacher. <laughs> en Eduardo, teacher. Ah, sí, sí. No, por eso dije, las tres chicas sí. superpoderosas. Sí. Las tres chicas sí. superpoderosas sí. y un chico superpoderoso. Ok. Okay, so let's work. Um, and the topic, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, let me tell you the topic. Veamos, esperemos, voy a compartir la pantalla. A ver, ¿sí le sacaron el screenshot? Yes. Okay, yes. so your topic is if and when. El if y el when. Ese me le va a tocar a las chicas superpoderosas y a un chico superpoderoso, ¿ok? So that is your topic, if and when, all right? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm going to come back in a few minutes. Okay. Sí. Vamos a ver. Hello, solo ver. dos me han quedado en este grupo. Sí. Yes, mándenos a alguien más. Espere, me quiero ver. Estamos en qué Alguien grupo? que esté solito y abandonado. Pues es que cabal, me salieron los cuatro grupos para los cuatro temas. Ni modo, le voy a poner un topic fácil. Solo porque me caen bien. Porque okay. tenemos no. sueño, teacher. Veamos. No, está fácil. Bueno, ustedes van a hablar del, del vocabulary practice. O sea, la clase que vimos ayer. ¿Qué pueden hacer acá? Eh, les recomiendo ah. que, que proyecten la, la conversación que, que estuvimos practicando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y ya ni era. Ajá. Esa conversación la practican y este, solo leen los procedures. Los procedures. Teníamos una lista de procedures que hay que seguir para pedir un permiso. ¿Se recuerdan? No, no. Era Mr. Right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y eso es todo. Okay. Ah, está bien. Para que no sea tan complicado. Para que no se compliquen las vidas. ¿eh? Está bien. Okay. <risa> ya voy a regresar en unos momentos por si necesitan ayuda. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok. <risa> 
Hello. Oh, no. Uh, I feel the teacher. <laughs> she's working. Teacher, okay. <laughs> the <pressure>. No, no. <laughs> Katia is coming and suddenly you appear. We, don't, <laughs> we didn't know what happened. <laughs> no, the thing is that she's working. I could see her early at around 8 that she was at work. Okay. Okay. So um, let's see. Your topic, guys, is let's see. Should and shouldn't. Oh, okay. I'm going should to use should and shouldn't. Yes, that is your topic. Uh, you can practice the conversation. You can uh, include some examples, and that's it. Not a big deal. No necesito la gran cosa. Okay. Just oh, okay, teacher. Only one of the four topics. All oh, right. We uh -huh. we we. Okay. We yes, understand. only one. Okay. We we are scary because we we think that are the four topics. Four topics. No. <laughs> no, don't okay. worry. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yo era era Hello, como guys. Guys. Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm going to assign the topic. Ya le voy a asignar su tema. Su tema es el uso del could. Ah, estábamos. When to use could. Ah, estábamos que no, no, no dábamos. No, ah, que iban a ser los cuatro topics. Sí, cabal. <risa> Empezó no, uno. Don't worry. No, only could. Solo el could van a ser, ¿ok? Uh. Eh, my recommendation is to practice the conversation for that class and to give some examples. Eso es todo. Practican la conversación entre los dos que vimos ese día del put y luego pues dan algunos ejemplos usando el put en that's it. Y eso es todo. La idea es que hagamos un repaso de lo que se vio durante la semana. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And after that you work in the exercises. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Vamos a ver la conversación. I'm sorry. Okay, I okay, want to I'm tell sorry. you something. Quiero decirles algo. Esta yes. noche, Lourdes me estaba comentando en el chat, va a tener una gran super mega party en su casa de la graduación. Man. Y que se podía comer. Que planea el grupo. Man. No. Ok, no, vaya, veamos, les tocó el if y el when, ¿verdad? Es yeah. una recommendation, solo pongan, digamos, la conversation, la conversación que se practicó ese día, la, la ponen ahí, la practican, digamos, la practica Susi y Eduardo, eh, tal uh -huh. vez lo urdes, explica algunos ejemplos, solo lee los ejemplos y that's it, y eso es todo, ¿ok? No uh -huh. se me vayan a complicar mucho la vida. Ah, vale. Algo breve, algo breve. Digamos, la definición eh, no tiene de casualidad la diapositiva, Tisha. Solo para copiar la definición. <risa> ok. Déjenme ver. Y así, digamos, comienza como la introducción, Cari. Con la definición. Después sigue con la conversación, Susan y Eduardo. Y termino yo con la estructura y unos dos ejemplos. Uno, dos ejemplos, no mates. <risa> ok, estábamos en la clase del 18. Déjenme ver. Sí. Karina no vino a esa clase, o vino Karina. Sí. Sí, vino. No? Ah, no, a la clase de ayer porque no vino. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya. Ahorita se las comparto. Sí, me va a tener bilingüe, fíjense. O sea, que bueno, a, ustedes, a ustedes les aparecía en español. Yo como estaba en la compu me aparecía así ese formato, fíjese. El de, ah, también el bilingüe, entonces. <risa> Vaya, mire, acá está. How to use when or if to join closes. Ahí la ah, pues, Ari, tal vez lo, lo anotamos para que comience. Ajá. How to use... Thank you. 
We use if for something that might happen in the future mm -hmm. or something imaginary. We use when for something that we know will definitely happen. Uh -huh. Está acá también en el libro. Aquí sí. lo tienen. We use when for usual situations. Yes. And you use if for unusual situations. Situaciones eh, usuales, o sea, que pasan, pueden pasar a menudo o... Y el if para las cosas que no estaban previstas que pasaron. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora haríamos como que una presentación o algo, chicos, o, o solo, solo la, lo dirían. Yo lo estaba uh -huh. anotando aquí en el cuaderno y, y iba a proyectar porque no, tengo arruinada la compu. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. So you copy, you finish, Lourdes. Yes, teacher, thank you. Ok. Thank you, Miss. Okay. And Eduardo, we can, we can say the... The, the conversation, page 45. Hoy parezco guara, ¿ve? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be Brad and you're going to be Annie. Okay. Okay. You are Brad, right? Ah, we're gonna practice too. Okay, okay. No, I, Hi, I think, Annie, how I it's think going? It. Okay. Hi, Annie, Hello, how Brad. it's going? Hello, Brad. I am fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone does come, my boss calls me him or her. And when the person returns, he or she recites a notification of warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. okay. Algo que podríamos resaltar? <laughs> Nothing. I was talking to myself. I was mute. Uh, no, in my case, I consider that it's okay. Okay. It's okay because you are using if and when during the conversation, so no problem. Es que okay. esto solo no sirve como para recordar los temas que hemos visto durante la semana y entre compañeros nos vamos a ayudar. Okay. okay. Thank you. Que lo bueno no se me vaya a complicar explicando la, la estructura ni nada. Ni, no, solo el, tal vez la definición como dijo y uh -huh. un par de ejemplos. Está ahí. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Cari, si oh. quiere, practique el concepto, después se hace lo de... Ah, bueno, después podría poner yo lo de la estructura y de último se queda Susan con Eduardo eh, leyendo la conversación. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, quizás para eh, la definición es... Uh -huh. How to use when and if. Uh -huh. Join clause. Ok. Eh, we can use uh, if and when when we talk about situation and condition that are repeat repeat or repeat ahí se me cuesta repeat predictable sorry <laughs> we can use either sorry, mute uh, predictable predictable yes predictable predictable mm -hmm. we can use either Mm -hmm. If 
or when plus present verb form. Okay. Uh, you can have to structure to form a sentence. Um, a structure one, when or if plus subject plus very in present tense plus comma plus complement in present. An example, if I study English every day, I have the opportunity to improve a lot. And a structure number two, subject plus very in present plus complement plus when or if plus subject plus bear in present and complement. An example, I study English if I feel motivated. Y luego sigue Susan. Bueno, que ya la practicaron, ¿verdad? Susan. Susan. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Y ya termina. Estamos en, y ya estamos. Sí, okay. pues sí. Teacher, we, we, we need to do to the, the exercise, the other exercise. Yes. Okay. The grammar exercises. Grammar. Estamos con el grammar exercise. Ahora. I share my book. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Susi, eh, estoy chequeando acá las notas y me le hace falta una, el final. El examen estoy final. Estoy haciendo. Ok. I am doing that. Ah, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. No, you. solo le voy a recordar acá en el grupo para no, no mencionarlo okay. más bien. Veamos. Karina ya está completa. Ya tiene luz verde. Sí, Ok, veamos. Eh, lo burdes, me le falta un quiz. El ¿Qué? final, el examen final. Pero eso lo envío ahora en la tarde. Antes okay. de salir okay. del trabajo. Uh -huh. Vaya, voy a re revisar. Ok. Porque lo terminé tipo cinco y media. Ok. Es uh -huh. que esta, 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 estas notas se actualizaron la última vez ahora. Este, a, a buena mañana. Mm, ok. Entonces, don't worry. Ok. Bueno. El, ay, ¿Y Eduardo se fue? No, aquí estoy. Ah, que no lo veía, perdón. Vaya. Number, number one. Uh, fill in the space in each sentence using either cool or cool or I or could you. Number one. Close your window, please. It's very cold in here. Um, could you? For me, it's could you. The first is cold. Could you? Hi, mm -hmm. so. um, Could you? Uh, could you? Or could I close your window, please? Or you close your window, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds better like that. Could you? <laughs> could you? Could you open the door for me, please? I am calling. Okay. Could you? Could you close your window or could I? Is the other option? También va. Could I? Puedo cerrar tu ventana o puedes cerrar tu ventana? Uh -huh. Could you open the door for me, please? Because, because the other person is is occupied. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Busy. Okay. Uh, busy. I'm sorry, busy. Uh -huh. <laughs> en inglés. Entonces, could I could open the door for me, please? No. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? The yes. second school, you. The primera school, I. Yes. Okay. Number two, could you open the door for me, please? Uh -huh. okay. I didn't understand. 
Ajá, la primera yo, que te dijo, could I, could I close yo, your window, please? It's very cold in here. ¿Puedo cerrar tu ventana porque hace mucho frío aquí? Uh -huh. es que ¿Puedo no, cerrar tu ventana? Ajá, porque es como, digamos, yo soy en la casa de alguien y no me voy a tomar el atrevimiento de cerrarlo así por así. Uh -huh. <ríe> Sino que por, por cortesía uno como que pregunta, ¿puedo cerrar? Es que está haciendo bastante frío. Frío, ¿verdad? La luz también. Okay. Okay. Bueno, entonces la dejamos así o le cambiamos. No, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, I didn't understand what you say to me. Could you repeat it, please? Could you repeat? Mm -hmm. yeah, please. The four. Okay. The, the, the three, the third. Uh, Call you. Call cool. you. Mm -hmm. ah, podría eh, yo call, call I dije the secretary isn't her deja un mensaje para ella call, call I leave a message for her please entonces si sí, yo creo ahí que ahí si es call I, I podría dejarle ¿Ah? no podría yo Ajá, call I. Podría yo. Uh -huh. Podría la. Ajá. Ese. Could, could ese... you repeat, please? Eh, correcto, es could you. Could you I... repeat it, please? Así sería. Sí. La número cuatro. Excuse me. Excuse Your me music so. is very low. Could I turn it down a little? Podría yo apagarle o bajarle un poco o no podrías como... no podrías bajarle quizás es cuyo sí, es cuyo cuatro sí, de ahí number five number five Mary Bien. I don't get my money till next week could you let When... me Let me, 20. podría prestarme 20 También es cuyuga. Sí, es cuyu porque podría prestarme 20 dólares. Uh -huh. La número 6. La 6 creo que es cuyuga. Call I. Borrow. Borrow your car. Borrow your car. Ah, podría prestarme tu carro. Yeah. Until tomorrow, as my three retailer. Number seven. The secretary is in here. Julio. Oh, right. Perdón, perdón, la, la número 6. La, la número 6 la número es Cuyu. ¿Qué quiere decir la ave? Live. Abandonar. Uh -huh. Live, <ríe> yeah. abandonar. Yeah. Dejar. Abandonar, dejar. Mensaje es, es Aquí ese es Could I leave a message for her, please? Ok, en, en este grupo ya oh, nadie I'll... me debe notas, oigan. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay. ok. Estamos Thank completos you. con la plataforma, Batiche, por okay. mi parte. Sí, eso, eso les quería comentar, porque si había alguno que me le hubiera hecho falta algo, pues ahorita le notifico, pero no estoy viendo que los tres están, bah. están al día. Sí, gracias. ok, gracias. Perfecto. Number seven is who I'm. Who I live. I'm in place. Ok. 
Vamos con la otra parte, dos. Is that children or children? Children or children? En la siguiente. Should or 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 And we have to, to write some exam, examples, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah example. The example. Ah, structure. Ah, the structure, the structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, let it's me tell you boom, that we finished this activity in eight minutes. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. No problem. We finished finish the, 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 finish yeah. the other. The grammar. Ah, you finished the grammar. Perfect. We, we finished all the other activities and we only have this for perfect. tonight. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, okay, a structure. A structure, subject. Oh, permit. Subject. Class, should. Should. Class, verb, in present tense. Verb. Present tense. In verb, in Present tense and plus complement. Plus complement. Present tense plus complement. Complement. This is affirmative clauses. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and negative is subject. Should not, uh, shouldn't. Shouldn't or should not. Mm -hmm. Should not. Plus verb in present tense. Permita. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Plus present tense. Plus complement. Yeah. Plus complement. For, for negative ¿Quién? clauses. Ajá, for negative. Aquí arriba le voy a poner positive. Affirmative, affirmative. Affirmative, affirmative. and negative. Ah, ah. ya. Yeah. Affirmative. Pixel. ¿Por cuál, 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 cuál? La tres. You There's should so... work overtime if there is too much. No, can this. <laughs> <laughs> In the real life, it's not good. Paso. Should. Bye. Should. Ya estoy afuera a cinco y media. Hey, no. Viernes, no. Dios. Shouldn't. You shouldn't work overtime. No, should. Should. También. Hay que ser correcto. Desafortunadamente. La dos, ¿cuál era? Perdón, no, no escuché. La número 4. You make use narcotics. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Number five, you wear casual clothes when there's a supervision. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. 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 No, shouldn't. shouldn't. No, shouldn't. shouldn't. Number five, shouldn't. you shouldn't wear casual yeah. clothes yeah. when there is a supervision. No, you shouldn't. Yes. You shouldn't. Ah, and you shouldn't. Huh? Number six, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Number seven. Number seven. You shouldn't. You shouldn't take someone else's calls. Okay. That's it. 
What is the meaning else? Number three. So what else is? Oh no, else is called. Ajá, else. Deberías tomar la llamada de alguien más. Ah. So what else is called? Thank you. During the clauses, you finish. Or when you finish. Is it the last exercise? The the shoe shooting. Number three. Ah, falta el tres. Yes. Ah, the if one. Yeah. Find the classes using if and when use the correct punctuation. If get late to work, you call. No, if I get late to work, I call my boss. ¿Verdad? Yes. If I get, if I get late to work. If I get late to work, I call my boss. Uh -huh. I call my boss. I think and use about. Use what? Because if, como dice Lourdes, if I get late to work, I call my boss. Mm -hmm. And you can say uh -huh. too, when get late to work, I call my boss. I think it's about. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Según el caso. Yes, lo, lo this, lo this example, it's okay. If I get uh, late to work, I call my boss. But you need the comma in the middle. Yes. Um, the comma. Remember the but I think the I, I think yeah, yes you can after, use when too after work yeah okay let's see when mm -hmm. I get late to work I call my boss mm, okay it's possible okay. okay if I get late to work comma uh -huh. I call my boss yes mm -hmm. number two. If I need a day off, mm -hmm. if I need a day off, I request of it with human resource. I agree with Karina. When, when, a day, mm -hmm. when I need a Okay, everybody is here now. We are going to continue to, um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Yes, we are going to continue with this. Uh, let's see, Karina's group. Karina's group. Sorry, sorry. I, I, my, my microphone was off. Off. Okay. Uh, good, good night. No, good evening. Good evening. Everyone. Uh, now we talk about uh, how to use when in to join close. Well, uh, we use when and is when 
we talk about a situation and conditions that are that are uh, repeated or predictable. Uh, we can use either if or when plus present verb form. You can. <laughs> You can have to structure to form a sentence. Structure one, eh, when or if plus subject plus very in present tense plus comma plus complement in present. In ex, eh, example, if I study English every day, I have the opportunity to improve a lot. And Structure, structure number two is subject plus very present plus complement plus when or if plus subject plus very present and plus complement. An example, um, I study English if I feel motivated. Okay, and right now we're going to practice a conversation when you use the when and if. I'm going to start. Hi, Annie, how it's going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she recites a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. And that's it. Thank you for the attention. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Now, Carmen's group. Wait, please, teacher. Estoy pasando oh. todavía. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Luis Brooks. Okay. Our, our group is um, uh, Oscar, Nelson, and me. Uh, our topic is the, the use of, of cool. Of cool and we practice the conversation in a, in a, in a page 41. Eh, Oscar, no sé si estás, porque Oscar tenía problemas con, con el inter. No sé si está de regreso, Oscar. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. Example, voy a tratar de proyectar en la conversación. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, no, oh, sí, aquí está. No sé si lo veo, Oscar. Yes, of course. Okay, for example, we have uh, the topic about clothes. Okay, and we take the, for example, this conversation. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Uh, uh, really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. It's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention, could I, and I mentioned the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. We, we, we read a, a, an example, uh, another example, how do you use the, the code? Okay, two okay. sentences here. I could listen my song with the help on. Example two. Could you see the the screenshot? Okay. 
Okay. I have other other sample with use of cool. Tell I could I could watch the the video and I could listen my song with headphone. And you could drink a coffee cup. Cup of coffee. Coffee up. Oh, I'm sorry. Cup of coffee. Pardon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And That's it. And ah, it's in the manual. <laughs> Segundito. Okay, after Luis group is Claudia's group, the next one, and then Carmen's group. Okay. The exercise. Eh, completamos lo, los otros ejercicios en este momento, teacher. Ah, um, no, not yet. Not yet. So if you finish the presentation, sí. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Claudia? My group is Sarai. Mm -hmm. um, I speak uh, procedures mm -hmm. for request permission. Uh, number one, first print uh, the request for that is available on the internet to fill out, out the form. Three, write the reason for permission. Four, write the time and day you will be advanced. Okay. Number five, specific if is, it is due to medical or personal reasons. Number six, ask for the department She's frozen. Can you go to your office? Okay. Uh, no. Number eight, the human resource assistance will receive more and since it is, is accepted. And number nine, if the human resource assistance does not accept the forms, the permission is denied. And the conversation is the next. Good afternoon, Sarai. And well to our company. Thank you, Miss Claudia. Uh, do you know the procedures and rules or of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound good. Sound good. We'll explain them to you first. Okay, thank, thank you. Finish. Thank Finish. you very much. Thank you, good job. The last group is Carmen's group. Hello everyone, our topic is Hello. about should and shouldn't, right? So I will explain about the use. We use should and shouldn't to give advice or talk about what we think is right or wrong. You should means something like, I think it's a good idea for you to do it, right? And you shouldn't means something like, I think it's a good idea for you to do it, for don't do it, right? So uh, we have four structures for should. For example, in affirmative structure, you use subject plus should plus verb in, in present tense plus complement. In negative statement is subject plus shouldn't plus verb in present tense and plus, plus complement. You didn't say you don't say should the correct the correct form to to say is should and for negative is shouldn't and after that we have two forms to to a structured a question in in the first case we have the yes or not question and the structure is the 
should plus subject plus verb in base form plus complement and the question mark. And if the second form is with a WH question, in this case, you use WH question first plus should plus subject plus verb in base form plus complement. Uh, examples uh, the should uh, we should study English every day I shouldn't sleep in work hours okay that's it conversation conversation is um Jancy, my stomach is getting worse. What should I do? Oh, uh, well, we should take a medicine down north, uh, Judy. I thought I bought. It is not working. Do you have any, any another idea? Uh, you should try a tea of Baldwin liver. It worked just fine. Seriously? Okay, I I will try it. Thanks. Thank you very Finish. much. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. So in this case, we finished checking the content of the unit number four, the topics that we checked during the week. Now we are going to give in a very, very quick way the answers for this because the time is almost up. Well, the time is up already. And I don't want you to go to bed that late. So uh, let's see, I'm going to ask Carmen, can you please give me the answers for the exercise one from one to seven? Just give me the, uh, whether if you used a could I or could you? You're mute, you're mute. Okay, number one, could you? Number two, could you? The third one is could you? Fourth, could you? Five, could you? Number six, could I? And number seven, could I? Thank you very much. Yes, those are the answers. Eduardo, give me the answers for exercise number two from one to seven. Just give, give me should or shouldn't. Okay, uh, you should, you shouldn't, mm -hmm. you should, <laughs> you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you should, and you shouldn't. Thank you very much. All right, and the last one. Karina, can you please tell me with the last one, please? Number three. Okay. Number one is if I get late to work, I call my boss. Mm -hmm. The second is when need a day off, I request is a with uh, human resources. And the last one I didn't finish, but um, if there's too much work to do. I work extra hours. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys. So we have come to an end for the class, for the modules. Congratulations to all of you for having finished this course. Uh, remember, never give up and never lose faith. Continue studying. English opens many doors. That is my recommendation. If you can continue studying, continue studying English. Who knows? Maybe in the future, I will see you in England, okay? Or in the United States. So um, never give up and never lose faith. I'll see you soon. And it was a pleasure to be your teacher, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list for the last time. Make sure that you are here, Alfonso. Present. Anayansi. Good teacher. Carmen. Present. 
Cesar. Present. Claudia. Present. Danis. Dolores. Present. Eduardo. Present. Edwin. <coughs> Present, teacher. Fidel. Karina. Present, teacher. Katia. Present. Lourdes. Present. Luis. Present, teacher. Nelson. Present, teacher. Oscar. And Susie. Present. Okay, guys. Present. So I want a picture, please. You want a picture? Yes. Yeah. A teacher uh, is of the group. <laughs> yes. Um, all the models. Always For teacher. Facebook. For Facebook. You want a picture? <laughs> okay, take a picture. Sure. Okay. Me avisan. The picture. Abrácense todo para decir. Okay. Listos. Solo falta Danis. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. Ah, it is nice. Can you see? Okay. Thank you send, for advice. Send the picture. Okay, send the picture in the group. I am being in the group. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right now, uh, please. Okay. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. No me gusta cómo se ve. Ahí lo miran. Okay, so this, it's okay. your call tonight, okay? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. okay, Goodbye, guys. everyone. Bye bye. bye. What's up, Have a good bye. vacation. Good night. Pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Hoy no se quieren salir, ¿ves? La última vez. Todos han quedado. We're crying, we're crying. Estoy llorando, ya va. Bye bye. See you. Goodbye, everyone. Good Good night. Night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care. Okay, Lourdes. Do you have any questions? Mm, for me? Mm -hmm. mm, no, teacher. No. Can we have no. a conversation? Okay. Okay, just to check if you um, understand English, all right? Okay. Okay. Um, tell me, what did you did? Uh, what did you do yesterday? Um, yesterday I I had to work. Mm -hmm. I, I had to work. Um, I I did a lot of activities in my home. Um, yesterday I went out with my husband and, and I did a report, uh, an important report uh, for my boss. Okay. And do you have any plans for these coming vacations? No, I don't have, um, uh, in this moment, but uh, I I hope to to go out with my husband and, and my family and enjoy um, the vacation. Uh -huh, at least for one day, uh, go out the San Salvador. But do you have the all the week off or only five and six? I mean six and seven. Yes, yeah. no, five and six, right? <laughs> five and six. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I rest. Uh, no, I will rest uh, from Thursday to Sunday. Oh, okay. Because yes. you don't work on Saturdays. No, no, I don't work Saturdays and Sundays. Only from Monday to Friday. Okay, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. So, yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, who is someone that you admire? Lourdes? Admire. No, admire. Admirar. Someone. Uh, Maybe uh, your boss, uh, a family member. 
Yes. In my, I I admire to my mother because and, and my grandmother because uh, they are an excellent person. Uh, they they have a, a big heart and they they are generosity. Generous person, and and me and always they um, they they have, they they have a a a big faith mm -hmm. a, a big faith in, in God. Okay, so you believe in God. Yes. Okay. Yes. I believe. Very good. So tell me, um, how do you see yourself in two years? Um, maybe I I will be a mom. Mm -hmm. Um, I will uh, have a own house. And I I have a a better a uh, what is uh, how do you say salario wage wage mm -hmm. uh, how do you write teacher guaje guaje mm -hmm. okay with W yes okay it's new for me. Yes, so if you want to say salario minimum, minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. But it's not minimum. Yeah, yes, you can say minimum. Ah, okay. Some people use salary too. Salary or oh. wage. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same. They are okay. synonyms. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Only that. And, and when will you continue studying English or any other thing that you like to study? Uh, yes, I I hope um, finish the the course um, because I need to for for my work mm -hmm. and my my level of English must be um, high mm -hmm. high and and I need for example I need um, answer the the calls in in English and, and it's very important for for my boss to learn the English mm -hmm. that is a good thing it's the thing that I was telling you uh, English opens many doors. Imagine that in a future you can get uh, maybe a better salary, a better wage, you know. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. if you have the minimum wage, you can have it a little bit high, higher. Yes, okay? yes. So it's important to speak English nowadays. Yes, and, and sometimes I, I receive to call in English, the first was horrible. Really? <laughs> didn't understand, didn't understand nothing. And the second, uh, it, it was better because I I answer the question for for the peop, for the for that person uh, that call to Manuchar mm -hmm. and, and he understand me because uh, then he called my boss uh, with the number that I give give him oh okay so that is a good thing you know yes yes I I feel motivated with with call with this call because uh, I feel to improve my English. Okay, congratulations, because you are a good student. 
Then you need, you need to you need to be perseverant and continue studying. Yes. Continue studying. Yes. And if you can study another thing, for example, Excel or something, continue yes. studying. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's important. Okay, it's very Lourdes, I don't know if you have any other questions. No, teacher. No. Okay. Thank you so much for staying with me tonight. Thank you uh, for you, teacher, for your time and and the and for enseñar teaching teaching to us okay. okay no problem it's my pleasure okay thank you teacher so have a good night Lourdes. thank you teacher good night and enjoy the vacations you too bye 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 bye